Hello. Uh, today I'd like to show you how to generate student accounts uh, or import student accounts into uh, your CS2N group. You can see here I already created a group. It's called My Robotics Club. Um, I would like to import some students so they could start working on these activities. So let me get started by clicking on Add Group Members. I'll click on Generate Accounts. And I got a few options here. If I have a student roster sheet, I could skip all these steps that we're about to go through and upload my student roster right here at the final step. Um, I'm new to this process though, or I'd like to show you how this process works, so I'll click five, five accounts I'll generate. All right, and here I'd like to um, uh, generate a random username, so I could do that, or I could um, also have the option to type in username if I already have usernames I'd like to use. We'll click randomly generate, um, here, um, I'm being prompted for first and last names. So if I want to go 100% anonymous, I could just give all my students this anonymous student name. You could also type something in too. Uh, passwords, uh, you have three options. Of course, you could type your own password, or you could come up with a uh, password that's generated, a random password that's generated for all your students. Um, the only downside to that is your students will all have the same password. Um, so um, I think probably in most cases you're going to want to generate a unique random password for each student. So we'll select that. Here I'm just being told that um, students will be entering their birth dates and if any of your students happen to be under 13, um, it's very important to get um, this attached permission form and have that signed by a uh, parent uh, before allowing them to use uh, the CS10 network. All right, so acknowledge. Uh, demographic information uh, is optional, um, but extremely appreciated. We use that for research. So um, you would have the, op you have the opportunity on this template to provide gender basic location data. Completely optional. Uh, the, Student also has the option to provide this information when they sign in for the first time, or they could go to their account and update that information at any time. So I'm going to go ahead and acknowledge. And now I have a generated roster sheet that I could take a look at and then upload. So let's take a look at it really quick. All right, excellent. So you can see here we have five randomly generated usernames. We actually use programming language and a uh, random key afterwards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete this first row. That is just an example row. All right, so we'll go ahead and save this. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Copy of download roster four. Good enough. Close that. All right, so now let's just browse to that. There it is. Verify uploaded roster. Just takes a moment. You can see here that we pass all the checks. So now I just click generate accounts from roster. And it'll take a moment. And then at this time, we now have five new students in our classroom.